So to expand on the previous video, video in terms of looking for velocity within the video included in the CV library, there is something called frame sub, which similar to our uh, flow theory, it's looking at the change between pixels in consecutive frames. So what our flow uh, section does is it looks at the difference and then outputs them as uh, a variable so it gives us a sort of a direction that they are flowing in so it can tell whether we're moving left or right or up or down due to the change what frame sub does is it does the same thing so it looks in the change between the two frames but then calculates them on top of each other so you can get values for velocity and what I've done here is using the same input video so just myself talking it splits it into three separate outputs similar to our HS flow code, which gives us the mean, the lowest, and the highest. Now, obviously, the lowest is zero because around the edges, things like that, there's no change in the pixels. So, unless the entire image was being taken over uh, at one time, so see if I rub my finger in front of the camera, it changes slightly, uh, but it's not practical for the use we have. The highest does give some good results, but it's only going to follow the fastest person in the space, which could be the target that we want to look for. I'm going to look, experiment with both types. But the mean, obviously, is giving us a low floating point number because it's there's all so much zero and there is so much, uh, uh, so much movement just in me. So my lips are really fast, whereas things like around the band of my headphones, it's really slow. And obviously you've got all this zero space. Uh, I think this is going to be the best way. So the four numbers that are output, the first one is the left right movement, second is the up and down, and I've not worked out what the fourth is yet. I think it might be the average over the two, so sort of almost a diagonal of it uh, if we were drawing a graph. So I'm going to look at expanding those two into a colour chart and see if we can move on from there. But I think tracking the fastest person in the space could be really important following the idea that we have.